डॉक्टर संपत कुमार शिवांगी इज अ स्पेशल इनवाइटी फॉर प्रवासी भारतीय दिवस सम्मेलन 2023 एंड ही इज अ मेडिकल प्रोफेशनल लिविंग इन यूएसए फॉर मोर देन फोर डिकेट्स डॉक्टर शिवांगी व्हाट टेक्स यू हियर आर यू एन इंडियन सिटीजन और यू आर यू एस सिटीजन आई एम यूएस सिटीजन बट आई एम होल्डिंग काइंड ऑफ ग्रीन कार्ड वॉट यू कॉल इन ओसीआई कार्ड नो आई एम बॉर्न रेज हियर एक्चुअली आई लिव मोर ईयर्स इन यू एस but my 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 affection and love for my country you know it does not go away just because i'm a us citizen oh yeah we just want to hear that you know indians have accomplished a lot uh, uh, in different countries in us what is your accomplishment yeah i'm the first uh, indian now we call indian american there huh? uh, to hold the post of chairman of uh, mississippi state board of mental health which controls all the medical conditions in in my state okay. i'm there for last 14 years hmm. i'm the first indian ever to be hmm. then president george w bush appointed me it was in the white house as advisor to health and human services uh, it is the division <coughs> of white house okay. so i served 4 years there and of course i'm a republican so naturally when the president becomes a republican hmm. elected so i'll be in the post hmm. so president trump when he got elected he appointed me to the national uh, center for mental health services in washington dc mm. so i'm there for last 3 years so i'll and uh, when president biden won the election he continued to be uh, there so so, so, I, so no. you are men, med, mental health professional and uh, you know government of india and whatever i am hearing from indian diaspora people it is about technology about yes. finance everything you are a medical health professional and you have been specially invited for this uh, what is the relevance of your coming here see the, the biggest thing is see i'm the first indian american to be at the national level in america uh, and they found out that i can bring my knowledge stature to india because uh, in mental health india lacks very very big way mm. so we need to let people know where we stand the government of uh, india so tomorrow uh, uh when i'm going to speak uh, the health minister will be there the minister of external affairs will be there right after uh, prime minister modi's speech so i want to let them know how good how bad we are in the mental health in india and see so what you have already spoken mm. so what does it mean that uh, how can you contribute to india in mental health and do you think that india is lacking in mental health? very much so uh, see i was just telling uh, in my speech in that needs 42 more years to come to the standard of west 42 years i just give an example we are 1.4 billion population we have only 42 mental hospitals in india but it is very disgraceful that one should visit a mental hospital in india mm -hmm. uh, so nobody you know, likes to go no, to mental hospital that is the problem yeah. that is the stigma we need to come out of it see we are 1.4 billion people 200 million indians have mental issues 200 million one in eight oh. indian has a mental health issues but we don't want to admit it we suffer and we just vanish so we don't want to be at that stage we want to identify who we are i have a problem i need to be helped i need to go to the hospital or a doctor need a treatment that should be our attitude there is a world and days <coughs> oh ho gaya you know we just live whatever we have no so, so what, is, what is your what we claim we are the fourth largest fifth largest economy in the world but in mental health we are 90th or 100th state in the, in the world okay do, do so, you do you like that oh, i i don't know i don't know <laughs> but uh, you know that uh, what is your prescription means uh, what is your suggestion so this is see we have so many institutions in in america it is called samsa substance abuse mental health you know 30% increase in substance abuse means people use drugs fentanyl is the biggest drug misuse in america so that needs to be covered so we need to have a a division to control substance abuse and mental health issues mm. second thing is in there five years ago in they had one of the highest rate of uh, death in women especially during pregnancy 
after pregnancy, at six weeks after delivery, they were dying. Is it because of mental health or it is because of malnutrition? Depression. Depression. Yeah. When a woman is pregnant, during the hormonal changes, she goes into depression. In pregnancy, during delivery, six weeks after delivery. I met Prime Minister Modi in 2017 in Bangalore when I got Pravasi Bharati Award. And I know him for the last maybe 20 years. When he saw me, he came to talk to me. And uh, I have a picture, I'll, I'll show it to you. Then he asked me, you know, what do you think I should do now on health care? I said, sir, I told him, you have said, beti bachao, beti padao. Where is the mother? Why not Why not mother? You know, without mother, where is the baby? Where is the uh, child? So he really felt it. And since five years, not I'm not taking credit, but somehow the the death rate or incidence of maternal mortality morbidity in India has come down to 98. It used to be 118. We are 98. We were worse than Pakistan and Bangladesh. That bothered me too much. So we are much, much better in five years. So it is due to medicine, lack of medicine or medical facility, or is it a question of counseling or social situation? Medical facility, I told you, we have only <coughs> 42 hospitals, 20,000 patients in these 42 hospitals. So like state of Karnataka, there are only two hospitals. In whole state, five, six crores of people, I mean, uh, so many people, we have two mental hospitals. That's not the way it has to be. In the state of Mississippi, we are only uh, 5 million people. We have 25 hospitals. Okay. So that needs to be then, of course, when you have that many hospitals, you have doctors, you have psychiatrists, you have psychologists, you have mental health workers. They all will help you to understand what so, is so, problem. So that means that uh, it is not just medicine. No, no. Medicine is also part of it. Counseling. See, <coughs> they have started a new, it's called 911. Have you heard? It's an emergency call. So I call on my phone, 911. Okay. Somebody will immediately attend on you. And uh, if you need ambulance, the ambulance will come to your house. They'll take you to the hospital or the medical center mm -hmm. and uh, treat you. In two, last two months back, <coughs> uh, the new number has come, 988. That's what I want India to have that number. What that does is, <coughs> is you call 988, there are five, six health counselors, doctors, maybe, or nurse practitioners or nurses will be there. So they will talk to you. Suppose I have a, some crisis, mental crisis. Mm -hmm. So they will talk to you in 10, 15, 20 minutes, half an hour. They reduce the incidence of hospitalization by 30% with 988 number. Just suppose I need a, in spite of uh, 30 minutes counseling, I, I need a admission. The ambulance will come to you wherever you are, take you, admit you and start treatment. See, that's a big thing. That's why I want that to be in India. And I'm willing to do it. I'll bring the entire team here at no cost to the government of India. Oh, yeah, of yes. Then what is the problem? That's what I'm going to talk tomorrow. I mean, when I, when I have a chance to talk to them. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm volunteering. We can bring the same system what we have in America to India. What can you do better than that? Okay. <laughs> so, so it needs a public investment or private investment? Government permission or without government permission? We can do both. Okay. Private and uh, governmental can be done okay. usually. But 980 is a governmental organization. Yeah. Yeah. We, the SAMSA, which I'm the member of the board, we initiated this 988 number. It was so successful in America, 35% of admissions in hospital have gone down since only three months. Okay. See, see th things we have. So you want to invest your money also, or you want to invest your uh, knowledge capital? The government will fund it. Okay. It's not a big thing, you know, to have a 98 number. If you have a toll free number, we call it. Yeah, but you need professional for yeah, counseling. Sure, of course, of course. Yeah. So, yeah. Every state will have that. Yeah. 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 We have 20, 30 states, okay. so each state will have its own 988. 988 is a national number. Okay. Yeah, yeah but yeah. Uh, we'll have in Every each state. state. We'll catch yeah. it. Every state will yeah. catch it. Suppose 988, you dial, I'm in Indore, it will come to you. 
see. My last question, sir, that uh, because you are, uh, you know, suggesting the government on mental health. So, do you think that uh, India's social situation, social divide, caste, it, etc., they also create mental problem? Yes, it's definitely. Uh, that's uh, our biggest problem is identity problem. Yeah. We don't know who you are. We, uh, we are still halfway. Uh, the British uh, think continues to be <laughs> okay. uh, shadows. Okay. We need to come out of it. That's what I was thinking. Like we made tremendous progress in finan um, fundamentally in financing. We are the fifth largest economy in the world. Now also politically, Rishi Sunak to, yeah. to, to you know, he became Prime Minister of uh, England. Have you ever imagined a non-white guy will become Prime Minister of uh, England? Yeah. <laughs> so also in Ireland. Uh, we have uh, yeah. a Indian origin prime minister. Yeah. So many other African countries we have Indian, uh, and they can provide. <coughs> See, I'm, I started medical association called AAPI, I'm American Association of Physicians of India. We are hundred thousand doctors, and we, we provide. We gave fifty crores of rupees to to India when the COVID came. Hmm. See, so we can bring the same thing England can give. Ireland can give, so many other countries can contribute. Oh, as, a, as, as a Pravasi, yeah, they can yeah, do it. Yeah. Okay, good, See, that, that's, what I, yeah, that's what we're doing. Okay. It. So, will you talk to your vice president about doing something because he also holds some Indian origin? Yeah, I know. She is not. She <coughs> politically must understand why she doesn't want to say Indian. Uh. If she says Indian, but only 2% of Americans are Indian Americans like me. Okay. She wants to call herself as African American. She has 24% votes. Why is she worried about 2% votes? If, if she says she's Indian, these 24% of African Americans will not vote for her. Okay, so there's, a real, there's a reality. <laughs> okay, sir. Uh, as a Pravasi and uh, as a member of Indian diaspora, uh, you know, it's really very interesting to hear that uh, Pravasis are interested in helping okay. India on different fronts. See, I want to, I'm not trying to brag. Huh? There is a road called in, in, in Mississippi on my name. The government of Mississippi, they named after me. First Indian to have a name. Means, uh, what's me, what is the <laughs> name of the road? Sampashivangi Road. Sampashivangi Road yeah. is a road in Mississippi. Mississippi. Oh my God, yeah. yeah, I'll show you a picture. I have a picture also. Okay. <laughs> so, Sampat Sivangi Road is ah, a road why? in Mississippi in his name. Why? Uh, that's why I think Prime Minister Narendra Modi has invited him to take some suggestions on mental health. Yeah, Akhilesh Suman for Sansa Television with Kara Prasan Kawaljit yeah, in Indore.